for joining. If you're listening to the recording, thanks for taking time out of your day to hop, hop on and listen to the recording of this call. Hey, um, so I'm just going to do a quick talk to you today. Um, just so you know, I'm Julia Lefebvre. I am the owner of Mom Power Fitness. So thanks for joining us today. If you're not following me already, just there should be a little link that pops up below. Just click on that and you can follow me so you don't miss any of my broadcasts. All right, so today I'm going to talk to you about setting goals and how you can be the power of setting those goals, setting SMART goals, what that is, and how important they are in order for you to be successful in achieving those goals. So... One thing, so a SMART goal, so it's really important to set goals for yourself, but the one thing is you have to take action um, on achieving those goals. So it's great to set goals, but if you're not going to take action to achieve them, then there is no point in setting that goal. There's times where I've said, you know, I'm going to do this. I want to be able to achieve that. And then, you know, it's great. I'm all excited, but there's no plan of action that put, that's put in place. So that goal is not going to get achieved. So it's really important. And this is something that I really, sorry, I'm just going to adjust myself here. Something that I really try to um, share with my team members. I help women start their own health and fitness business. And so with them in their business, they need to set goals. So we talk about SMART goals and achieving those goals. So it's really important that they have goals for themselves, but if they want to achieve them, they need to be SMART goals. So, um, we will, so one of the things with a SMART goal, hi, thanks for joining. Um, you want to make sure, so SMART goals means they need to be specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and they need to be time sensitive. Like time, you need to have a time frame for those goals. So, um, you know, what, so it depends on your goal. So you may have a, um, a business goal for yourself, or you may have a fitness goal for yourself. So for example, you know, you want to make sure that your goal is specific. So just to say, I want to get healthy is not specific enough. So maybe you want to lose weight. That's the specific goal. Maybe you want to build more muscle. So think about that. Uh, you know, if it's in business, maybe you want to make more income. So it has to be specific. Uh, it also needs to be measurable. So measurable, you have to add a number to it. So I want to lose 10 pounds or in business, I want to make another thousand dollars this month. So it needs to be specific. That's a specific goal and that's measurable. So we can measure uh, that goal out. Um, it also needs to be attainable. So it's really important that you shoot for the stars with your goals. Go for it, but also make sure that it's realistic. So don't make a goal for yourself to make a million dollars in the next month because it may not be, maybe it's possible in the next certain number of years to achieve that in your business. Um, but it needs to be really realistic and attainable for yourself. Hey, thanks for joining. So make sure those SMART goals are attainable. So make sure that you are, thanks for all the hearts. So make sure that um, you are um, choosing a goal that is attainable for yourself. Then make sure it's relevant. Something that, set a goal for yourself that is relevant in your life at this moment. So um, it's something that you can achieve and it's something that relates to your life right now. Um, and then the last one is, good, thanks, how are you? Um, so make sure that it's time sensitive. So add a time frame to it. Tell yourself that that goal needs to be achieved in the next month. Maybe that goal needs to be achieved, you're giving yourself three months to achieve that goal. So for example, if it's a weight loss goal that you have for yourself, we've made... Um, <laughs> That's great. So we've made a specific goal to lose um, to lose weight. We made it measurable. We want to lose 10 pounds. Definitely, that's attainable. Um, is it relevant? Relevant? Yes, because we want to get healthier and fit, and we want to lose weight. Um, we are becoming more active in our lifestyle. We have the time for it. So. Um, so make sure, so it's a relevant goal. And then T for time, time frame, we need to make sure that we um, give it a time frame. So to say I want to lose 10 pounds in a week is not, maybe not really realistic, but we can give ourselves the uh, next month to achieve that goal. Or maybe, you know, 10 pounds, I would say realistically a pound a week is 
an achievable goal for um, th for that one. So, um, so saying, you know, one, uh, so in 10 weeks, I want to be able to lose 10 pounds. So giving that time frame of 10 weeks to lose our 10 pounds, that's a really smart goal. It's specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and if there's a time frame added on to it. So when you're setting your goals, make sure that they're smart goals, that you can look at those five things, that it's specific, it's measurable, attainable, relevant, and you can set a time frame for it. And that way you are, I guarantee you're going to achieve those goals. So whether it's business or it's fitness related, that is something that I do. I help my clients um, put their SMART goals together and help them achieve those goals. So if you're somebody who is looking to achieve a fitness goal or whether it's a goal in business, you want to get started with a business, um, contact me. You can find me over on Instagram at Mom Power Fitness. You can also find me on Facebook at Mom Power Fitness, or you can head to my website, mompowerfitness.com. And if you're interested in setting some fitness goals with me, just fill out um, on the homepage um, just fill out your information and send me a request for information for one of my boot camps and um, I will contact you back if you'd like help with your business and you want to get started in your own health and fitness business to achieve um, residual income I can help you do that as well so make sure those goals are smart thank you very much for taking the time to watch this broadcast and uh, you guys have a wonderful Monday.